Oh man, people are going hard on this meme. What this is, is this is a, this is basically an article about how a lot of streamers are switching to Mixer and YouTube gaming and Facebook. And it's justifying why some people are doing this. None of these people that are moving are like, like actually are really significant. I don't mean that in like a derogatory way, just in the sense that like they're not personalities that are huge. Retention is an issue, but not necessarily growth. I repeatedly heard that retention of an audience is about 25% for a transition from Twitch to Mixer. Everyone I talk to that moves to Mixer or Facebook has way more concurrent viewers, but what they're not thinking about is how Mixer and Facebook actually aggregate those viewers. That's a huge problem that everybody's ignoring. If you have 300 viewers on Facebook, what does that mean? So I know what 300 viewers to me means on Twitch. It means that I have someone that's actively watching my broadcast in one of their windows. But on Mixer, Mixer is really weird. When I look at streams on Mixer, I get super confused by what's going on. And the way that they do things is like really weird. Like if you like look at like these like views, I think this implies like concurrent views. So most people have like, this person has like 346. But whenever I like actually click on these, it's always a little bit weird. The way that um, the chat goes is super weird a lot of the time. And um, then like, uh, see how it just did that? So this is like a really important meme. Um, there's like a feature on Mixer where you like sort of teleport through streams. And uh, so viewers are people that are just hanging out. I can hang out on Mixer.com and I can count as a view. Um, but that doesn't drive ad revenue. And then the other thing is the follows. Like this guy has 125,000 follows. There's no freaking way, dog. Or um, that this channel has 5 million views, right? And look at like it got the view counts going up in real time. There's no way that's possible either because I've been streaming on Twitch since 2012, right? I've been featured on Riot Games. I've been on CNBC. I've had all kinds of shit that I've done and I have 3 million views. There's no way that this person who probably started streaming like a month ago is on there. So like there's a lot of really weird stuff about Mixer that I don't like completely get. And it's actually that reason why I'm like kind of hesitant to like, it's weird. I don't know, dude. It's weird. See, stuff like this is really interesting. I had about 30% more subs than I did on Twitch. That's like objectively good. <laughs> Facebook is paying influencers to use their live streaming platform. Wall Street Journal reported on a deal that leaked, which showed Facebook would pay 24 influencers a total of $2.2 million. Mm -hmm. Facebook signed deals with 140 media companies and celebrities worth $50 million if they'd host regular broadcasts. Uh, yep. You assume Mixer is doing weird stuff to make sure their site is better than it's actually doing. I'm almost a hundred percent sure that is right. Also. Yeah. Blizzard Facebook integration. They're targeting what Twitch has and deep pockets to help win people over. PAX East. I heard that Facebook staff was targeting Twitch broadcasters. Yep. That was actually happening for sure. Um, now, like with Facebook gaming, that's an even bigger meme, okay? Because let's go try to find it. <laughs> so the first thing I'll do is I'll type Facebook gaming. Uh, that takes me to a, a page named Facebook gaming. Uh, then you'll take then I will take you to a page that says how to do gaming videos on Facebook. You'll notice that that link is purple because I clicked it before, already trying to figure out how the fuck to do this. Um, I could type Facebook live video gamers live streaming, okay? And it takes me to a page where I can create my own live stream or, okay, this looks promising. It looks like creators slash gaming. Maybe I can find somebody here. What are we doing? Oh, cool. It takes me to a wiki. Okay. So like, how do I even know where these people are? I have no idea even how to access this service that supposedly exists. I have no clue, right? Like, oh, live video streaming. Is this it? Well, I click that. No, it takes me to some but dumb fucking Facebook web 2.0 shit. Uh, these are, are these people? Martha Stewart, can I watch you live stream? Is this a real thing? I don't know. I can't see it. I, if it, I haven't seen it, it's new to me. Like, so I have no idea how to actually watch Facebook, right? Like, 
And then YouTube gaming. That's an even bigger meme. <laughs> like YouTube gaming. Okay, at least I can Google it. YouTube gaming.youtube.com. Oh, we're here. Press start. That's not a start. That's not really a start button. You lied to me. What this is. Okay, I'm here. I, I haven't even gotten to the thing yet. Am I even in the gaming section? I'm just looking at r videos. I'm on like a YouTube for gaming. This is Aframu's video, which I guess it knows because I subbed to him. A Soda Poppins Reacts video. This is apparently a stream that 2.6K people are watching. I have no idea how to participate in it or what's going on. ESL Counter-Strike has a whopping 324 people watching it. Uh, this, it looks like a stream, but who knows? You see, I can't, like, this is cute. And then, like, embedded in here is, like, this is clearly a VOD. I know for a fact that Cutie Pie isn't streaming right now because he's asleep. Right? Because he's on my Discord and he's not online. <laughs> so, what the hell? This is all weird. I can go to live, and now I guess we're in a bigger meme. So, female Fortnite player, playground mode. Her stream title is literally female Fortnite player. This guy's stream title is best Fortnite player. I would like to challenge that idea, sir. I would submit to you that there is probably a better Fortnite player. Anyway, these people appear to be getting views, but again, how do you dictate views? I don't know, right? And you'll see it drops off like super fast. And it's not in order. Like there's 200, there's 700 people watching this on Twitch. It says Twitch. This is like just boobs. Like what the hell is going on? And is this literally every stream on, on, on YouTube gaming? I don't know, dude. So like the problem with these platforms is that they're bogus. They're super bogus. Like Twitch gives you for all that Twitch does. Like, Twitch gives me a very clear idea of what's going on. Like, I know what's... I know what's happening. Okay? If I want to watch Fortnite, I can watch Nick Merckx. I know how many views he has. I know what's going on, and I know he's really there. But on Mixer or, or Facebook, I have no idea what's real. It's like I'm on an acid trip watching some weird version of Twitch. I like I don't have any idea what's going on. Holy. Okay, Twitch's lack of consistent moderation or no longer listening to the overall community. What does that matter? It's been increasingly difficult to be a female streamer on Twitch. The last straw with Twitch is lack of toss enforcement. I really had high hopes for the platform. The lack of enforcement across all big streamers, small created resentment, which I don't understand what the problem is. Well, trolls, like, why does Twitch need to be responsible for you, for your channel? Can't you just ban them? I don't understand. If you don't like someone in your channel, then a purging fire is both inevitable and natural. Advice to those considering. Uh-oh, that's me. I asked those who had decided to make a switch. If you're making full-time income on Twitch right now, stay on Twitch. ho, 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 ho. Even if you're a big streamer on Mixer, you will not make as much as you made on Twitch. The lack of bits is substantial hit to income. Oh, God, do I want to talk about bits. Bits are the biggest meme. Nobody donate me bits, and before everybody donates me bits. But seriously, bits are like such a meme. You're literally giving 40% of the money that should go to the broadcaster to Twitch. I can't believe that people actually use bits. I, I, it's, it's unbelievable <laughs> to me that people actually use bits. Thank you, Mood Tierdid, for the 50 bits. <laughs> okay. If you want to be on the ground floor of something because it matches where you want yourself to be in the future, now is a good time to switch and make sure you stick with it. Okay. Will the content fit other platforms? Does it financially make sense? Uh, in a perfect world, we'd be able to stream on all platforms. Yep. We would. I think most people don't consider the split when donating bits or even subs. Isn't that crazy how that works? Oh, thanks, dude. Wow. Woohoo! Malixia is eating tonight. I don't have to cook my socks now that I got that bit. <laughs>
Uh, for those interested in switching. No, that that literally, I think that's not even ever gonna, yeah. It cost him more to do that donation to me than it did that I got. I don't know, dude. See, I'm in a weird situation. I don't really care about making like full-time income off this. What I care about is just like having a really cool community that grows. I do care about a growing community. And I do think the discovery is impossible on Twitch. I don't think that we'll like this entire night. I would be really surprised if a single new person comes in. That's how crazy it is. Um, so although I'm aware of that, um, I still want to like grow the community, but I honestly think the answer, I think the, the, the funniest meme for this, if you want to grow a community on Twitch, you do everything except stream on Twitch. <laughs> like you actually, like you do YouTube, you do Facebook, you do Instagram. That's it. Uh, I thought you were the one who promoted subs over donations. Why the dislike for the bit system? Um, yesterday you had four new followers. Those are probably people that Googled me or are from Destiny's stream. I guarantee they were not new people. Okay, there's a lot. I don't even know where to start with this. Okay, so, all right. I think we have to do business. Let's talk about business for a second, okay? So in business, you have different sources of income, okay? Uh, which can come from products, right? Services. Uh, that's about it, really. Uh, so what I do technically is a service, right? I provide memes and you pay me for it, okay? Um, there's a bunch of different ways you can pay me. You can donate, which is a direct infusion of money, right? You can also sub to me, which is a um, something called MRR, which I'll go back to in a little bit. Um, that's about all you can do. I think you can like give me items, right? Uh, in theory, if you knew where I lived or I told you. Uh, I, I can't really think of like uh, anything else, okay? So if you donate to me, right? Um, I get a direct infusion of money, but I don't know when that money is going to ever show up again. It's quite possible that I could get a donation for $50 and never get a donation again, right? So this is, concern this is considered revenue, but unreliable. You can't make a life off of this, really. So a sub is MRR, or monthly recurring revenue, okay? And this in business, if you're trying to sell a company, is the most exciting thing, right? Actually, if you're trying to do anything. Um, if you're trying to get a loan, if you're trying to convince someone to invest in your company, whatever you want to do, MRR is the most interesting because monthly reoccurring revenue is um, the most reliable way to tell if a business is going to do well later. So a big meme with MRR, right? What's the biggest company on earth, the best company on earth for MRR? Anybody know? What company makes more monthly recurring revenue than anybody? Netflix, you're close. It's not Netflix, okay? The number one company that makes more monthly, monthly revenue than anyone is Amazon, okay? Amazon has 100 million Prime memberships at $99 a year. This is a ridiculous amount of money, and this is why Amazon keeps doing better in the markets, and it goes up, 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 right? They do have a lot of other sources of revenue, but they have their main interesting source of revenue is their monthly reoccurring revenue, right? It's not even their product sales. It's the insanity that uh, that, that is Amazon Prime membership. It's crazy. Um, so this provide this this gives gives like a crazy valuation for their company. Okay, so um, for a so back to a streamer, right? Uh, a direct infusion of money and revenue is unreliable. Um, bits would fall into this category. This is exactly the same as a donation, except I lose 40% on the deal. So this is Twitch actually just punching me in the dick, okay? Because it's basically a donation. It's a one-time thing, but it has no other benefit. But if you sub to me, right? It's monthly reoccurring revenue. But re now there's two tiers of subs, okay? There's the Twitch Prime sub, which lasts one month and doesn't reoccur. And then there's the God sub, which is the reoccurring sub until you cancel it. 
And these are the only ones we're really interested in because we can't really rely on Twitch Prime subs because that's basically like a $4 donation. Okay. So this is why I don't like bits, but I do like subs. So if you said, would you rather take... Um, so like, uh, let's take a situation where... Um, I have a thousand subs, okay, and so a thousand times 2.5 is uh, 2,500 a month, okay, or I have uh, $4,000 a month in donations, okay, I would take the subs every single time, um, because I have, a I have a reliable source of monthly reoccurring revenue that I can plan upon. Uh, doesn't PayPal technically punch in the dick on donos too? It's like a minimal amount though, compared to like Twitch. I, I think PayPal takes like three to four percent, but Twitch is taking forty percent. <laughs> so like, yeah, it's like a pinprick, but like Twitch just literally comes up and just sends the baseball bat straight in. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is this is the business. That's how the business works. <laughs> I, I think we've covered it. Can't have to eat your socks you need for those dance streams. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, Moon Tiernan, man. Let's go. That's actually really cool. Thanks, dude. I will send you the emotes. Twitch doesn't give royalty based on ads before? Let me think about that. Ad revenue is irrelevant to partners below, I would say, a thousand concurrence. Because you lose... And that's being like really generous. It's probably closer to like 5,000 concurrence because you lose 20% of your active uh, viewer base every time you run three minutes of ads. And then um, basically everybody laughs at you. And then, so, so okay, so check this out. This is why ads are, are a giant meme, okay? Um, I have like 20 seconds to tell you the funniest joke you've ever heard for you to click that follow button. Like maximum 20 seconds, right? Actually, the attention span of human beings has gone below six seconds. So we're competing with goldfish now. When you click my stream for the first time and you see me playing Moonlighter, and that's a great meme, right? Because I never play actual video games. We just sit here and talk about them. <laughs> like, uh, basically, I have six seconds to do something that is going to make you click that follow button. And then even if you click that follow button, you might not come back, back, right? So for you to come back, I have to make like an emotional impression on you. Um, the likelihood that that's going to happen during three minutes of ads is zero. So you lose all of that engagement. And then you also lose the people who are watching your broadcast but don't want to watch ads. And then they leave. So you have to have like a huge uh, audience to make that work. Uh, in like, uh, free to free F2P models, a business is run on whales. Your old 80, 20 formula. Does this apply to Twitch revenue as well? In the sense that 20% of the streamers make 80% of the revenue for Twitch. I mean, a hundred percent or that 20% of the streamers make 80% of the revenue for themselves. Yeah. All that stuff applies. 80, 20 is a universal rule in general. You'll find it everywhere. Twitch isn't done growing. They rose 21% in concurrent viewers between qu quarter four and quarter one. That's really, really interesting. Um, so, so, okay, so that said, I just spent like 10 years talking about why I think Twitch is like duty, right? Let me tell you why I think it's not. Um, the only interesting thing to me is discoverability or distribution. That's the only thing I think about in terms of like, how do you get a broadcast in front of people? And then once you have a platform, you can like continue it. There's a, um, there's a critical mass that you can hit on Twitch that you never, ever need to worry and I think it's like, it's like somewhere around five to ten thousand concurrence that I think you're always going to be okay. Um, but beyond that, if you're good, I I I hope I'm not wrong. This is an opinion. So everything I've been saying previously is like based on my my business memes. But like this one is actually an opinion. If you are good enough at something, you will win. I really believe that. Like if I'm funny enough or good enough for engaging enough, people will share my clips on live stream fails and like other people will find me. It'll go on Reddit. It'll go on YouTube. People will make YouTube videos of it and it will happen. So for me, and this is a philosophy I've had for everything in my life. If I'm failing, it's always my fault. 
I really do not like the idea of blaming your platform because you suck. Um, so there was a streamer um, in this article who went from 3,000 concurrence to 350. I truly believe that is because their content was not interesting. I don't think it was Twitch as a platform that caused that to happen. Because And the, and the control for that, right, is that there are several other people on the platform who had 3,000 concurrent viewers, and now they're at 5,000, or they're still at 3,000, or whatever. So the quality of your actual broadcast is paramount. Also, there have been people that have come up in the last year or two and become major broadcasters on Twitch. So as long as that's possible, switching to Twitch or switching from Twitch doesn't seem to be that great of an idea. I think if you want to make if you want to make um if you want to get viewers by doing stuff by just sitting there and streaming, like Mixer might be the place, but it has a cap. Facebook pros and cons. Their killer advantage is access to sizable demographic, which isn't the type to watch gaming streams. So this is a disadvantage. This is a con. And users stay on the site for a very long time. That is a huge bonus. The problem is, where are these streams? <laughs> As aforementioned, I don't even know. Well, no, like, I think it's, I think it's a really simple equation. Um, if you're good you'll get rewarded for being good. So so let's let's do let's do it this way. There are a lot of other platforms with more saturation than Twitch. So let's take YouTube for example, right? YouTube has people that upload to it all the time. I can't even remember how many videos are uploaded a minute, but it's something absurd, right? Yet there is enough abundance that you can still get recognized on YouTube and you can still build a brand on YouTube in 2018. Um, it might be harder than it was in the year 2000, but you can definitely do it. So my philosophy on this kind of thing is always that if you're good enough, you will make it. I don't think that, I don't think that people that are good enough just get left behind that because that just means they're not good enough. The weird thing about this is though, that like you never really can be sure, right? Because if a person is really good, but we don't know about them, then we don't know about them. So we can't know. <laughs> Facebook limits you to four hours in a single broadcast. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm sure that's something they'll change. Mixer experience supporting Xbox Live, implying people will actually have Xbox Ones. FTL protocol, but now Twitch has the two second range. Doesn't matter anyway. Xbox heavy environment. No native PS4 app. Uh, no, I'm not. You said Radonic says you're also saying you can be discovered if even if you're good. I'm confused. No, no, no. Here, okay, I'll show you. Okay. This is gonna be um really mean. <laughs> what I'm about to do here. Let's go into Fortnite. Okay. Um. Everybody on the top of this list is is a good content creator, either because they're incredible at the game or they've they've figured out some kind of thing that they are like unique at or whatever. Um, I could probably watch this uh, stream and I could be very entertained, okay? Or like if I was like the type of person that needed that that got whatever this guy offers, okay? Fast forward, uh, we very quickly start to get into a range where um, this is not so, okay? Um, a lot of these people are doing things right. Uh, this dude has a giveaway for uh, V-Bucks, which is interesting. You'll see like a lot of girl gamers on here that are really pretty and even have webcams and stuff. You'll see people that have lots of wins and are really good. They, um, even people that are like, I would say it wouldn't be that hard to find someone in this range where they're like equivalent to one of the like TSM myth guys in terms of like raw skill, okay? Um, they're probably very good. And these go on and on and on. Uh, that dude that I just scrolled by, he has a win rate of 90% in Fortnite, which is insane if that's true. 8,200 uh, 8, 8, kills, 800 and 590 wins, and a girl gamer, right? So what's going on here? Why isn't this stuff working, okay? Um, it's because Discovery on Twitch is a massive meme. Who is, who is, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And we just go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that's eight, nine, 10, right? Already without, I'm not even close to the bottom. I, I, I've already scrolled through 300 streams, right? Um, 
There is no way for these people ever to get a new viewer by the way that this platform works. Very, very important to understand, right? So what do you do? Um, my argument, and this is where my personal opinion comes in, you don't stream on Twitch. You work on YouTube videos where you can get discovery. You, um, you work on your social media, right, where you can get discovery. And you do things that will drive traffic to your stream um, from other places. I, I don't. I don't think. Um, do you think having an audience impacts how engaging or entertaining you are? Um, no, I don't think so. Every single broadcaster on the platform, including like Lyric and Soda Poppin and Shifter, uh, started out with zero viewers. Right. All of them carry their audience because they're entertaining. And they're good content creators. See, if I had one viewer, I would just do this rant on YouTube. <laughs> you know what I mean? This will probably end up on YouTube anyway. I'm definitely going to do a video about this. Um, okay. And, and then like, and you know, the scarier thing is that this is, um, the most popular game, right? But what happens if we go down to, um, like, uh, if we go to code in exiles, we're going to see a whole lot of nude girls. Um, what if we go down to like moonlighter, this lighter, this is going to be a big meme. I'm the third stream on here, which is unbelievable. And I th this is this that's a conscious effort, right? I chose Moonlighter because I thought that this would be a pretty good game to play through, and there's like a small chance that if I beat this girl gamer and like this guy, um maybe somebody checks out my stream. And it, maybe it's also interesting because I'm the only one on this list that's actually not playing Moonlighter. <laughs> so, anyway, um it's actually possible for someone here to go um, and get a viewer, right? Maybe if you feel really bad, how, how many do we have? We have seven, seven streams per, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven times six is, uh, seven times five is 35, so it's 42. Yeah, okay, so 42, okay. Um, so there's 42 streams in Moonlighter. Not bad, right? Math is not my strong suit, okay? I do business. We don't need business in math. If you go to a, 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 a like a like a slightly more meme game like uh, oh okay we'll use vampire I'm probably gonna be streaming this tomorrow because um, I think I think it'd be pretty fun. Now let's try to get discovered on this game right? How do you do it? This is hundreds and hundreds of streams right? It's gonna be really hard. Even if you're in the hundred viewer range, you still have to beat. 16 streams. Do you think people complaining about YouTube monetization just haven't done enough to monetize their content? Yep, they're shit at business, almost exclusively. If you wanna, if you, like there's, like, okay. So whenever you're in a situation uh, where this happens and you have a bunch of people that are complaining about something, go, what I always do is I say, is there someone that is doing this right, okay? And the guy that I'll bring up is uh, Peter Hollins. I don't know if you guys know this guy. If, if you don't know him, I'm doing you a pretty good favor. This guy does such cool stuff. Um, he does songs that are like, a lot of times like uh, Lord of the Rings or fantasy themed. Amazing, right? Like, I'm, I'm still watching. So, like, this video has 14 million views. I mean, it's like, totally incredible. Uh, a lot of his videos don't do that well. Um, so, like, we'll see, like, 200, 200, 260K. Look, like, this guy isn't nearly as big as someone like Philip DeFranco, right? Um, this, dude, this dude gets a million views occasionally. He might make full-time income off of, his uh, off of ad revenue alone. Ready for this? This guy has 4,000 Patreon supporters. So he has a whole system for how he does these, and he gets paid for these per video, right? So every time this guy makes a video, 
he makes like forty or fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> if you have an audience and you have attention, you can monetize it. Always. People that don't know so here's the problem with YouTube, right? And why everybody's complaining about it. It's because very few people that are content creators are also business people. Because if you can do if you can do business, either you're running one or you are um, not good at content creation. So in my case, right, I'm not good at content creation because I sit here instead of playing Moonlighter and I talk about monetization of YouTube channels. <laughs> so um, usually there are two very opposed skill sets. Like if you can do content creation, you don't really know um, how to do business and, and back and forth, right? Um, I, I do business because this is like really fun for me, but this is not stuff that like the wide majority of, 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 you, of uh, Twitch ever wants to watch, right? We're never going to get like a thousand concurrence going here. Like, tell me more about monthly reoccurring revenue. That's never going to fucking happen. So, um, yeah, that's the answer to that question. Did we cover that? I think we did. The answer is that if you're not making money off of UTNs, you bad. Like, <laughs> I knew I knew a person. I can't tell you who it is. I knew a person who was on YouTube, and they had two million subs. Okay, which is the same number that Peter Hollins makes. Keeping in mind that Peter Hollins makes like a million, one to two million a year, and uh, this person made two thousand dollars a month off YouTube until I talked to them. And then after I talked to them, they now make 30000 or more a month. It wasn't entirely because of me. I'm not saying it was, I'm not taking like total credit for it. That person had a lot of stuff happen to them. But case in point, like that's the, that's the difference between someone that like knows what they're doing and someone that's not. You give me, um, if you give me, I don't even know how many concurrence do I want. I want 1K concurrence. It would be insane. Okay, I want to see this Raynad meme. How did you first start on streaming and getting bigger concurrent viewers? I started in 2012, so I had Discovery through Twitch, but back before it was possible. Um, also, I think I did themed broadcasts where I only streamed one game, and I had an interesting uh, angle, which was like I taught, um, I taught people how to play League of Legends, which was super ironic because I didn't know how to play ironic. I didn't know how to play League of Legends myself since I never got through platform or for platform through platinum. But somehow people believed me and thought I knew what I was talking about. So people watched it. It was pretty great, actually. <laughs> I did a lot of collabs, yeah. I hung out with people like Cloud Carry who carried me through games and made me look good. Do you think crypto-backed social media sites like Stemit, YouTube, and similar have a future? I honestly don't know. I don't know enough about those things. I don't want to BS you an answer. Yeah, all you guys that followed me thinking that I knew about League of Legends... You messed up. So that that I think is like that that I think is like the ultimate meme with Twitch, right? Um, if you're good, then the then if you're good enough at creating content and you're entertaining enough and you're engaging enough, then all you really should care about is if the platform can technologically support you. And in that case, Twitch is the best. The reason I don't think I would move from Twitch is because I think that um, I can learn to make content good enough that I can drive traffic to the stream. Does that make sense? What's up, Zach? But one thing I think about is like, so most people will find a stream because you have a consistent game that you play uh, and or you're doing like a consistent theme. So the two big things that I think a lot of people found me on were League of Legends and Minecraft, right? And then since then, I don't know if many people have found me uh, as like a variety gamer. So if you want to do variety gaming on Twitch and get discovered, I think you have to do YouTube or things like that. If you get really lucky and you have people that will host you, then that's like a, that's like a really big one too. Oh, but again, you have to be able to hold that audience, right? So um, if Zach like raids me with like 5k people, but I suck and I don't entertain them, then none of those people stay, right? I think most people found me either through Minecraft or through League of Legends. It was a meme. <laughs> 
So I still say that if a person is starting off on Twitch, this is freaking, this is actually such an appropriate picture for this article. It's amazing. This article wins just because of this picture. That's actually insane. I just noticed that. So I still say if you're streaming on Twitch, like going back to this discovery problem, I really do think everybody that's that's at this like one to five level should seriously consider streaming on another platform. Unless they're planning to do content that um, or collabs that drives traffic to them somewhere other than Twitch. Now that said also, like I also really doubt that a lot of people in this category are gonna like go full time and run um, uh, run uh, like a full time stream. But this thing, did you guys read about this meme? This this kind of drove me crazy on Reddit. Um, this dude posted a video about what streaming had di has done to his life. And I don't like really want to, like people can Google this. I don't want to like talk trash about him or whatever. He seems like a really, a guy that's like really having a tough time. But um, the reason that I bring this story up is because this dude, so, so I'm going to, I'll tell this story without giving as much information as I can. Um, this dude, yeah, I'll, I'll say what he said first. This dude said that he was streaming on Twitch for three years, five days a week. So since 2015 and he didn't make it basically. And like he lost his girlfriend, he lost his house, he lost all of his stuff and he still ended up with like 20 concurrent viewers. Um, and then a bunch of people on the thread, they chimed in and they were like, yeah, like don't ever try to become a full-time streamer. Um, this is something that you can definitely never do. And it's basically hopeless. And I got really pissed off at this thread because I think that every, like almost everyone on this thread doesn't know what the hell is going on. And um, I'm gonna explain why I think that, okay? So right here, this right here is a picture of how often this broadcaster who had supposedly streamed for, for three years actually broadcasted for. Uh, the highlighted days are the days he streamed. So you can see that he streamed one day in February, maybe a couple of days in July, right? And when he did stream, if you go deeper into it, all of the games that he streamed were like Bless Online and like Weeb MMOs at one to four in the morning. Right. So these are not ways to succeed on Twitch. And I don't like this narrative that it's not possible to build a brand when clearly it is if you have a good strategy. But the problem is the problem I really want to talk about and I want to highlight is um, what I'm really worried about right now is anybody that's in this category of um, of, of gaming and really thinks that they're going to make it and maybe they're making sacrifices in their life and they're really hoping for that full-time income off Twitch and that sort of dream of playing video games and there's no shot because their strategy is bad. That, that really worries me and there's hundreds and hundreds of people in this category thinking that most of these people probably don't have those kind of aspirations and maybe they're just streaming for fun or at least I kind of hope that's the case. Um, but if for anyone that might be doing that, it's really sad because they're not going to make it with that strategy. Nobody is going to ever watch these people. And the, the big debate I have in my head right now, and that's why I, the reason I'm waiting to do this YouTube video on this subject, I don't know if it should be Twitch's responsibility to, um, to fix this in the sense that they do discovery that like YouTube has, or if it's the responsibility of the individual and Twitch just provides the platform. And, and this is a weird debate, right? Because on one hand, um, Twitch is providing a service and they don't really technically need to care if you are making money off their platform or not. And the only reason I would hold them accountable 
is because it is the mission of the upper management at Twitch, or at least insofar as was told to me when I was running CLG, that they want to make as many full-time broadcasters out of their platform as possible. So if that's the case, then I think Twitch is doing a massive disservice to these people. Guy only gets 50 viewers on Twitch, though it's true he doesn't try very hard. I, I think if you look at those people, you will always find the reason why they aren't successful. I, I really don't think that... Um, like uh, so, so there's two sides of this, right? Um, I have no sympathy for the guy that is streaming Arcage in 2018 twice a week at two in the morning and not talking to his chat and not engaging. And then that dude complains about not succeeding versus the person who is really trying hard and giving up everything, but just has a bad strategy. Yeah, but Cloud Carry. So Cloud Carry says Amazon and Google are capable of dodging flack for people failing on their platform. YouTube has a bigger platform with some of the established content creators now falling on hard times because of the adpocalypse. The, so again, uh, to, to go back to the Peter Hollins example, the reason why those YouTubers are having trouble is because they were actually dependent on ad revenue in the first place. When they should have expanded into merchandise, they should have expanded into monthly reoccurring revenue through Patreon, they should have had a closer relationship with their, with their subscribers, they should have had email lists, they should have had events. There are all kinds of things that those people should have been doing and could have been doing to monetize their audience and assure their business. And you can't you can't blame the platform. You shouldn't. You can. A ton of people do. But you shouldn't blame the platform. Um, like, oh man, am I going to get killed for this? Do I really think this before I say this? What I want to say is I think that YouTube isn't intentionally screwing people over <laughs> and that they have a lot of pressure from large advertising firms to do what they're doing. I'm sure that's a factor. I also think that the people at the top of YouTube are pretty disconnected from, the, from their content creators. But... None of that changes the fact that it's the responsibility of the individual to monetize their own business. You are, you are not an uh, employee of Twitch. You're not an employee of YouTube. You are an independent business owner using their platform. And the difference is huge. As an employee of Twitch, Twitch owes you um, some stuff. Uh, they owe you a salary or an agreed upon rate. Uh, they owe you like a place to sit and a bunch of rules. But if you're just using their platform to run your own business, they don't really owe you shit. And that's why we see things like somebody like, um, if I turn on my cam right now and my dick is out, right? It's not a matter of firing me. It's just a choice that they can make to not have me on their platform anymore. Actually, I, my dick doesn't even need to be out, right? I, the stuff that I'm saying right now, uh, somebody could decide is bannable. Um, and regardless of whether it's against the terms of service or not, I have no ability to uphold myself in court against these people. It's their platform. They can do whatever they want on it. <laughs> and then I get my forced exodus to, um, to Mixer. <laughs> um... Okay, so a bunch of people in the chat are asking me um, what to do about it. Um, so if I, so, let's say that you make me god of Twitch, okay? Twitch comes into my house tomorrow and says, Malixia, you are now god of Twitch. What do? My answer is an integrated keyword system. Let me explain. An integrated keyword system works thusly. Um, let's say that I want to search for, um, doot, 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 moonlighter gameplay reviews. Okay. Um, this took me to a channel with 732 views and, a, and, and this is the top of the list, right? Because I, it's this. These are not the the top reviews or the, the top. Um, 
Yeah, it's actually the game that we're supposed to be playing right now, but we got on this tangent. Ha! No regrets. Uh, the top review is from some dudes at like Boomstick Gaming. I have no idea how big this channel is. It's 10K. Holy crap, that's annoying. Uh, 10K, right? That's not a lot of people at all. But you can be actually, oh, yes, I love it when I do something random and it just proves my point. This is, it's super possible for this guy to, to grow because he's the first result on, um, uh, on this place. Anybody that's looking for Moonlighter review uh, gameplay reviews is going to find this dude, okay? But, but we can go back to our example on Twitch. There's no way that anyone's going to find my Moonlighter, the Moonlighter channel, right? Even if I'm doing the same thing. So the way that Twitch solves this is Twitch does an integrated keyword system. And the freaking ridiculous thing about this is they already have one, but they just don't fucking use it. So that's what drives me crazy about this. I should be able to search in this bar for um, best 80 carry, okay? And it takes me to Zimbabwe. I don't know what this is. There's no live channels, right? So it should take me to Aframu right away. That's what it should do. Because Aphromoo, even though he plays support, is still the best AD carry. Anyway, so I should be able to get a specific result that I want based on this search. But I can't, right? Because there, it doesn't work. So what gets me just butt crusaded, I'm so mad about this, is that they don't bother to put in this system um and for some things like counter-strike do they still have this okay you can search by map and so like if i want to watch i think this works in theory if i want to watch only italy i i can like search by that but i'm pretty sure that nobody uses that um on for at least i can search by language so if i want only people that play that, that speak polish i mean here i am and this is, so this is like actually a form of discovery. Um, and this is good. Why not do that for like all kinds of things? And the answer is because, it's, so people go, well, why not do that, Malixia? Well, because it's incredibly expensive to do so if you haven't built your entire platform to do it. And YouTube from the very get-go has built an algorithm based on Google's search engine for years that allows you to search for these things that are most relevant to you. Also, YouTube steals all your information. Google knows everything about you, okay? You, you know, you ever notice how you can go on a highway and you can see how bad the traffic is in real time? Do you know how they do that? They take all the Android phones in the area and they check what you're doing. <laughs> it, it, I, I say like they, like there's like a guy behind it that's actually doing it. That's not really what's happening. But what's happening is there is a whole host of sort of algorithms trying to figure stuff out like that. YouTube knows everything about you. YouTube knows what you're going to search for before you are, before you search for it. Um, so one of the reasons that Facebook and, and, and YouTube can tell you what you want to look for before you can is because they have this information from you, from Google and stuff like that. Um, Twitch can't do that. So Twitch has to be a little bit more unique in the way that they, just, they do this uh, thing. But the answer is, and this is super easy to do, hire me right now, Twitch. Here's what I'll do. Okay, I'll hire 10 people. And I will go through the top 20 games on this list, and then I will sort them, okay? Like this. This is great. There's already people working on this. I can sort by legend. I can sort by the expansion. That's useless, but whatever. So if I want to watch only shamans um, who are legend, it doesn't work. Oh, because I'm looking for, like, crazy... Yeah, then I can do this, right? This is really cool. Um, do this for every single game and let me provide keywords that are searchable so that I can increase my discovery. And then we fix the problem. That's actually it. That's what we do. It's amazing. Oh, you, you want to know what else we could do? 
If only we had a thing like a community section where if you clicked on a streamer, you could determine based on a set of keywords what they are. Would that be neat? We could call it Twitch communities. It could be something where communities could have groups of people and then you could search by those. But if I search for comedy, it gives me nothing. Even though there's a comedy community, if I search for positivity, nothing. If I search for improv, nothing. You will notice that the three things that Melixia is listed as positivity, improv, and comedy. But how does someone find me uniquely? No one's going to search for my community because they're going to search by game. This section might as well not exist. Also, in Silicon Valley, there's this thing called the fail forward principle. The fail forward principle means that what you do is you build really shit products and you fire them off and you wait to see what works, okay? Remember the Twitch buddy list? Remember how well that worked? The spoiler alert, it didn't, right? So Twitch left it alone. The problem with this is that you get a bunch of half-baked features on the website that eventually get shut down. And communities is unfortunately just another one of those things where this is never something that can actually help anybody with their discovery. It's just a thing that punches you in the dick. I mean, like, the top community is variety streaming. And again, I, I don't see how I could ever, like, really be a part of this. And maybe I should join this community. I don't know. <laughs> like, like, But again, like, who's going to find me down here in this? Like, like I don't even know how to get <laughs> I don't even know how to get here. <laughs> I had to Google it to get here, <laughs> right? Like I couldn't even get there on my own. Oh, I don't know. I mean, the way, yeah, the way you'd probably do it, if you go to Twitch TV, uh, okay. That's not really supposed to happen. You click, I'm just guessing. No, I can't get there this way. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no um yeah okay there you have it all right i want to listen to this raid ad meme then we can play moonlighter okay